So freedom is a state of mind and freedom is important because freedom is our life purpose. Whatever, whatever we pick is the, is a part of the journey towards our life purpose, which is freedom, growth, and joy. So if you're a doctor, being a doctor, doing that work is taking you towards your freedom, growth, and joy. If you are a teacher like myself, then the work you do as you counsel people and give them advice and help them over the obstacles that they have in their life, that is part of my journey. But where is my journey taking me? It's taking me to freedom, growth, and joy. What is the life purpose for anyone? It's not about the work that you're doing. It's not about the actions that you're taking. It's not about the people that you meet with. It's not about how you earn your money. At the end of the day, the purpose of life is what Abraham has told us over and over again. It is about freedom, growth, and joy. Freedom, growth, and joy. Freedom, growth, and joy. And so growth is inevitable. Growth happens just because we are thinking. Our thinking contributes to our growth. It's done. We don't have to work on it. But freedom and joy, these things, these emotions, freedom is an emotion. It's a state of being. Joy is an emotion that comes from that state of being. Freedom leads to joy. You've got to be free in order to have joy. When you are imprisoned, let's say you're imprisoned by the job that you have that you absolutely hate. You are imprisoned by it. You're not free. Therefore, you do not have joy. Maybe you are in that relationship that you just can't deal with. That relationship has you in a prison. You're not free. You do not have joy. And so freedom is essential. That health condition that you have, that's got you in its grip, or maybe you look at yourself in, in the mirror and you find something inappropriate. Well, guess what? It's got you imprisoned. You are not free. If you are conscious of the way other people look at you and judge you, you're not free. Therefore, you don't have joy. Freedom from all conditions is what leads to joy. The less conditions you have, the less rules you have for yourself as well as for others, then the more opportunities you have for joy. That person didn't open the door for me or that person should have left the door open for me because I was right behind them, but they didn't. What are you doing? That's being conditional. You've decided that there's a rule and people are only nice people if they hold the door open for you, if you're right behind them. That's a rule that you've made, that you have accepted, that that is what makes for a good behavior, good person. And then when you don't get that behavior from other people, now you're not happy in that moment, even if that moment lasts for one second, for that one second, you lost your place of joy and you were not free because that rule that you had created for yourself put you in a prison, a thought prison, a belief prison. Freedom from all these beliefs is what leads to joy. Unconditional. That is why Abraham tells us, be unconditional. Don't let any conditions control you. I say yes to the guidance that comes from the universe. I say no to guidance that comes from other people. That conflicts with the guidance that the universe is sending me. I say no to that. I say no, thank you. No, thank you. I know you are so well-meaning and I love that you love me, but no, thank you. 
No, thank you. I'm not having any of your advice. Not having it. I have a better advisor. I have an advisor who knows more than you. I have a better advisor. I have an advisor who knows everything. I have an advisor who has all the resources. I have an advisor who always leads me in the direction that is good for me. That is my next step. That is the step that I am ready for. So, no thank you. I don't need your advice. I don't need you to tell me what I'm capable of. Because I know I am capable of anything I want. I am unlimited. I can have, be or do anything I want. No excuses.